Now, this story is coming from Acts chapter 8. It's the story of Philip and the Samaritans. Now, uh, Saul, he gave his approval to the stoning of Stephen, and uh, a great persecution broke out against the Jerusalem church so that all the believers were scattered throughout Judea and Samaria, except for the apostles. And um, Saul, he was determined to destroy the church, so he was going from house to house, dragging off both men and women to prison. And uh, when the uh, believers were scattered throughout Judea and Samaria, everywhere they went, they went preaching the word of God. And Philip, he went down to the city of Samaria, where he proclaimed the Christ and he performed miracles. Uh, many uh, demons came out of those who were possessed and also those who were unable to, many of those who were unable to walk were healed and there was great joy in that city now there was a man in that city simon he practiced sorcery and he boasted that he was someone great now those who uh, were amazed by his magic uh, they followed him and they called him the divine power or the great power and when they heard philip preaching the good news about jesus and the kingdom of god they believed Philip's message and they were baptized. And Simon, he also believed and was baptized. Now, when the news that the Samaritans had uh, accepted the word of God got back to the Jerusalem church, they sent the apostles Peter and John there to pray for the Samaritans because the Holy Spirit had not been poured out on any of them. Uh, they had simply believed or been baptized into the name of Jesus. And when the apostles got there, they laid their hands on the Samaritan believers, they prayed for them, and the Holy, they received the Holy Spirit. Now, when Simon saw that the Holy Spirit was given at the laying on of the apostles' hands, he offered Peter money, uh, saying, uh, Give me also this ability to lay hands on people that they might receive the Holy Spirit. And Peter, he said to uh, Simon, may your money perish with you uh, because you thought that you could buy the gift of God with money. Your heart is not right with God. You're full of bitterness and wickedness. You, you need to repent of this wickedness and pray that God will forgive you. Uh, and uh, Simon's response was to tell Peter, um, pray for me so that what you have said will not happen to me. Now the apostles, uh, they went, uh, returned to Jerusalem, and on their way they preached the good news of the gospel in the various villages around Samaria. And this is the story coming from Acts chapter 8.